Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys today? I am so excited to bring you this awesome video. This is such a fun card. It really showcases the designer series paper and it is a free paper pack that you can get during celebration. This is mine with all my little parts and pieces in here, <laughs> but it is an amazing pack of paper that you can get for free during celebration. I really wanted the DSP to shine on this card, so I made this kind of card. I really think it's a great way to showcase it, and it does fit into a regular size envelope when you flatten it. Um, this is how it looks when it's opened, and you can set it like on a, mount, a mantle and see how pretty that looks. It looks like that. So I really love it, and we're using Cactus Cuties. It is an awesome, awesome bundle. Um, you can get the punch. It's a Cactus Builder or just the stamp set. You can purchase them together or separate. I do love them. They are awesome, and I have used that today. I've also used um, the words Happy Birthday from a stamp set called Peaceful Moments. So right there, it has phenomenal fonts. It's my go-to stamp set for a lot of sentiments. So check that one out as well. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We'll get started with the stamping. Okay, so this is a five panel fun fold. And so I will show you, we're gonna have to use our Simply Score to do our scoring, okay? So hopefully I'm in camera with it. I think I am. And we're gonna go down the long end, which is the eight and a quarter. This piece is eight and a quarter by five and a half. And we are gonna score it at one and three quarters. at three and one quarter, at five inches, and at six and a half. And now we're gonna use those panels and we are gonna cut, well, I've already cut, but you're gonna cut five panels and they're gonna fit on those five panels right there. So the five panels that you're cutting are um, five and a quarter by one and a half for three of the panels. And those are these three. You're gonna skip them, skip every other one. And those are the five and a quarter by one and a half. The two inner pieces are five and a quarter by one and a quarter. So that's that size. So let's go ahead and adhere all of our panel pieces to our card. our first one and you'll be able to see the score marks which will help you um, figure out how to glue your paper down so here is the second one which is a little bit skinnier section but they're the same height and then you have middle section two more to go this is the really fun part it's the part that really builds up your card and it helps you to display and show off that really beautiful designer series paper the one that you choose now the background of this card um, is Mango Melody and then this layer that I'm attaching now is Flirty Flamingo. You could also go with a Calypso Coral that would work well with this Mango Melody. Don't mind my puppy if you hear her. She's having dreams. She's sleeping here. She hangs out with me mostly in my stamp studio. So there is that. Now you're going to adhere those, right? Then you're going to cut three other pieces of designer series paper. And those are those three are five by one and a quarter, and they're all the same. They're, two of them are the same print, and one of them is a different. Actually, they're all the same print, as you can see. <laughs> but what I have done is I have used the opposite side. And so that one's going to go in the middle, 
and then these two pieces are gonna go on the outer panels and then these are gonna stay. So let's go ahead and adhere those. So you can see this card comes together fairly quickly. It has a lot of layers, but it is a really showstopper card and people love it. It's very unusual. It's a different kind of card and it's a great card to keep on a coffee table or a mantle. So that after the birthday or holiday or occasion that you make it for, people can have it out and um, enjoy it, right? All right, here's our last piece. Then I'm gonna show you how to fold this puppy. You kind of accordion fold it. So I will follow you through. I'm just gonna go through with my bone folder. I'm just gonna give it a nice press, make sure all of those panels are stuffed down. Now we're gonna accordion fold this. So this piece is gonna go over, back. Now that's the fan. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to go forward and back. And I'm going to use my bone folder to help me get some nice creasing right here and in the back as well. We're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to give it a nice crease. And then I'm going to open this one and I'm going to give this one a good crease and then the last one obviously is this so then what you have is you have a valley a mountain and a valley okay so that's what forms our main stage for our focal point which in this card is the cactus and this adorable scallop so let me show you where that comes from this is a, a die set called Stitch So Sweetly. It has an amazing set from small to large of these scalloped stitched rectangles. I love them. And then you have some really fun shapes. So I've used this large fun shape here and I've used, um, I think it's the second to largest. Oh no, the largest, sorry, my eye was fooling me for the um, background. So this is out of basic white and I also cut the other piece out of basic white. So both of those were out of basic white. They're gonna be layered on each other. I use these um, shapes so much in my cards. This, the layering circles, um, the scallop, contour dies, any kinds of shapes, I just go crazy for them. And I use them so, 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 so much. So this piece here is um, my DSP and I have measured the inside of it. I guess I didn't write it down. Let's measure it together. I didn't write down the size of it. So this one is, looks like three and three quarters by two and five eighths, three and three quarters by two and five eighths. I'm gonna write that down so that I know for next time. Three and three quarters by two and five eighths for inside the scallop. All right, thanks for letting me measure with you. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and attach this to the inside. And it's also from the same paper pack that you can get for free. I love showcasing that paper pack because it's an amazing pack of paper. There's so many different pieces. Even if you don't purchase the rainbow um, bundle that it is made to coordinate with, you can see here I'm using it with something completely different. So there is our pattern in the middle. Now we are going to um, stamp on this piece and we're going to stamp with the peaceful moments. I'm going to use Coastal Havana and I am going to ink up Happy Birthday. And we are going to, hopefully I'm not out of camera, I just need to be able to see. And I'm going to stamp this Happy Birthday over here and this side right here. All right. That looks awesome. This is such an awesome stamp set. I love, 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 I can't say that enough, the 
um, fonts that they are. They're just so great. Look at that. Amazing. Okay. So we gotta getting my ink pads ready because I'm gonna do a little bit of cactus stamping. This piece here can get attached onto our panel here. So we're gonna go ahead and center that on this piece. <laughs> my Yorkie is so cute. Okay, so that's just waiting for its little cactus. So I'm gonna set this over here with it, right, aside. And here is my paper that I'm gonna stamp my cactus with. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ink this cactus in this Coastal Cabana. And I wanna make sure, I definitely need to re-ink this ink pad, so I have to check that in. But we're gonna go ahead and give that a nice inking. We're going to grab some Granny Apple Green and then I'm just going to go around the edges. You can see I'm not rubbing, I'm just patting this color around the edges with my blending brush. I'm gonna add a little bit more and that will give me a two-tone blended cactus. So we are going to stamp him down on this side here a nice press. All right, and now we're going to add some additional pieces. We're going to do those the same way. So we're going to grab our coastal cabana and then we're going to come on the edges and we're going to just tap a little bit of granny apple green and then we're going to stamp him down because this cactus has some extra growth on it. So cute. And then of course it's flowering because it's super happy. So we have to do our flower. We're gonna do that in Mango Melody. So that is gonna go right here and it's gonna be happy, a happy flower on top of my cactus. Isn't that just the cutest cactus? I love it. Let's go ahead and close these ink pads get them out of my way and I'm going to go ahead and clean my cactus, my flower, my other cactus, and my happy birthday. And I'm going to go ahead and get those out of our way here. All right, so next step going to go ahead and fussy cut this out. So it's very simple to do. You're just going to go around and I like to leave a white border around my images. The reason I do that is it draws your eyes inward. Don't mind my little Yorkie. She's old, but she loves to be in here. She hangs out, she has her own little bed. She's 13. She's been around for quite a while, but I just love her. She was a birthday present for me. She's kind of um, really adopted my husband and uh, he's like her bestie. When the pandemic started, she thought, oh my goodness, daddy is home all the time. I better take advantage. And uh, that's it. She's, she's his now. My puppy. But for 13 years, all of a sudden, the last two years, she's with him. So when he gets home, she is all about it. All right. Almost done here. All right. That's the end of that. So we will now um, put some dimensionals on the back of this cactus. I'm gonna use the minis on these parts and on the flower. And then we'll use the normal dimensionals 
on the rest. All right. This section is going to get attached to this middle piece. And so what I'm going to do right here is I am going to count one, two, three, four, five scallops on this side. And I'm going to hold my finger there and I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five scallops. And I'm going to put adhesive in this section here. Well, if I can get my adhesive started. I'm going to put adhesive here. And I don't want to go past one, two, three, four, five scallops, so we are good. I'm going to put a little bit extra because um, this particular piece is going to get a lot of touching because it's the part that sits up high. And I'm going to lower it down a little bit so that I can see where I'm positioning it so that it's even. And I'm going to count those five scallops again and make sure that I place down where I have the five scallops. And I'm just going to set it there. And then I'm going to give it a little push. And then I'm going to go ahead and open it. And I'm going to press that down and wrap that with my bone folder. And then we can stand it back up. And then I'm going to use my take your pick tool. Of course, you guys know you can't get away without seeing this tool. I use it every single card. I absolutely love this tool. It's $10 in the US and it is well worth every penny. I think I've gotten my money's worth thousands of times. Okay, so let's go ahead and position our little cactus. It's going to sit right down here on this piece and show off its cute little growths and flower. And you can write a little note back in this back panel for whoever it is that you are giving this card to. I just think it's such a fun card and it showcases the designer series paper just gloriously. So I hope that you've enjoyed me making this card for you. I've certainly enjoyed making it for you. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope that you guys have an awesome day. Um, definitely give me a like, a comment, um, share the video. It helps me bring you more content. Um, and definitely subscribe. You can click my face there and there's a subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping.